Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Habiba and today I'm bringing you a very fun, exciting hair tutorial. This is an Afrocentric, futuristic, moldable braids. Yes, we're doing something different and I hope you're going to enjoy it and learn something new. So we're going to need some braiding hair and I ended up using one and a half packs. I also had some accessories, a lot of which I didn't use, some I did. Um, and then I also had these Chanel pipe cleaners. You can get them at craft stores or your supermarket. I got that at Walmart. I was inspired by a YouTube video that was recorded about five, six years ago, the channel Mei Yan. She did these whimsical braids where she added these pipe cleaners to her hair and I thought it was so cute. But I thought I wanted to make something a little bit more intricate using, you know, smaller braids. So here is Dorta. She has very big hair. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be doing something interesting with it today. Inspired by that YouTube video I had seen and also inspired by some African hairstyles. Anyway, today she was watching an interesting documentary about hydrocephalus. Um, as you can see, it's always something random. And uh, we're gonna start by moisturizing her hair, uh, wetting it with water, and then using some moisturizer, combing it out properly before we start braiding. Of course, I was also inspired by African hairstyles, especially the threading hairstyles, which appear to be gravity defying. So it always starts in Africa, doesn't it? Anyway, um, this is going to be interesting because I really don't know where the style is going when I started. <laughs> it was literally an experiment. How do you make braids stand up? As you can see, I've sectioned out a circular area on the top of her head. And now I'm making sections around the sides of her head so that I can uh, braid those um, sections later, but it makes it easier if you section them out. Okay, so here are my sections which I've twisted and we're gonna focus on the top section. Of course, it's moisturized and combed out well. All right, so I'm going to part the top of her head, that circular area. I'm gonna part it just like you would part a pie. So find the center or find where you want your bun to sit and um, section it out, which I have now twisted into individual sections so that again, it can make it easier to braid. So here's my braiding hair. I'm sectioning out small portions, moisturizing her scalp, adding a little bit of hair jam. It makes it easier to part. And uh, now I'm gonna start braiding it. So the braids on the top here that I'm doing don't have to be super neat, don't have to be perfect because the majority of them are going to be covered. Um, and I also am not the greatest when it comes to feed-in braids, but it's it takes practice, it takes practice. So I did my best because uh, again, I wanted to have, have some added hair to give it a little bit more bulk and also to give it a little bit more length and longevity. Um, her hair is long, but adding the braiding hair gives it a little bit more structure and body. So I've speeded up the braiding here, as you can see. First braid done, parting it with my bamboo skewer, which seems to work really well for me when I, I'm looking for sharp parts. Okay, we're on to the second braid, added that jam, smoothing it down and braiding it towards the center. Again, top center of her head in this case. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. I am now going to add the pipe cleaners, which are also called fuzzy sticks, which you can get in the craft section. Um, 
yeah, you're going to need a lot of patience and control. And as you can see, this is in real time. I push in the fuzzy stick into the braid, trying to make sure that I don't have it too close to her scalp because I don't want to, you know, poke her with the little fine wire that's in there. I want to make sure that that wire is um, a distance away from her scalp. However, the closer you make it to the scalp, the easier it's going to be to twist and mold the braid later. So I add one fuzzy stick at a time and then I add a second fuzzy stick or a pipe cleaner into it while trying to make sure that the hair doesn't get tangled um, and also applying the braiding hair. So this is what it looks like. Uh, not the best looking braid, but it gets better with practice. Here I just finishing up braiding the top of her head Again, braiding towards the top center in a pie shape and you can clearly see where the fuzzy stick is showing through and that's okay that's why I picked the brown because I felt like it kind of blended in with the braiding hair and her hair but also you can cover it up with um, you know accessories later if you want all right, just twisting up the top, keeping it out of the way. And now I'm going to start braiding the sides. So I knew with the sides that I wanted to alternate large braids with small braids. So I'm trying to part a section out for the larger braid. Again, adding some jam or gel or hair grease, whatever your product of choices and here I'm sectioning off for a skinny braid I actually love doing these tiny or skinny braids because obviously they're a little bit easier on the hands and they just look so uh, pretty to me in contrast with the large braids so I'm twisting out the section here and here I start doing one of the smaller braids Initially with the skinny braids, I did add a little bit of braiding hair and then I realized later that it actually looked better with just her hair because then you get a bigger contrast when the braid looks really skinny um, in contrast again to a larger braid when I add braiding hair with, um, you know, doing the feed in method. I don't braid all the way to the end of the skinny braid because later I'm going to incorporate it with the larger braid. So here again is one of those large braids with the uh, fuzzy sticks or pipe cleaners. And here I'm doing another large braid. Here I combine one large braid with one of the skinny braids and braid it into one. All right, we're working on the back now. This is a skinny braid, working my way up to the top. And the reason I did two rows is because I knew I wanted a lot of braids. If I had just, you know, braided everything to the top, I wouldn't have as many braids as doing it this way. All done, just spraying on some hair conditioning and sheen, and I can't wait to show you some of the styles I came up with. So let's see, how many do we hear? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on the inside. By the way, don't forget to thumbs up if you like these type of videos and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. So the inspiration here is that I wanted something edgy and free-flowing and modern and unexpected and so that's what style number one is. Not for everyone, <laughs> but I think it looks beautiful. What do you think? I love when art and hair meet, art looking very sculptural.
what should we call this second look? I wanted to see how high we could go with the braids, how tall we could carry it. What does this remind you of? And would you wear it? Where would you wear it? <laughs> kind of reminded me of a giraffe. Okay, for style number three. And I think Miriam was feeling herself here. <laughs> I love this kind of, it was giving me Wakanda vibes between the hairstyle and the leather jacket. Definitely Afro-futuristic. All right, for style number three, I was thinking something a little bit more ethereal. And it definitely reminded me of some of the threading hairstyles I had seen growing up in Nigeria, except that here we're doing it with braids. This could actually be a wedding hairstyle, don't you think? Or a party. You like the accessories I've added? All right, for our last look, this looks like, what? She's got a donut in her hair? <laughs> no, I wanted this circular shape, large circular shape. And I could have made it larger, honestly. I think if we had added a little bit more of the fuzzy sticks, I could have made it a little bit more stiff and larger. But it was interesting. What do you think? What was your favorite style? Definitely comment below which style you preferred. One, two, three, or five. Which was your favorite? 